Hi, this is William from Prostate Massage and Health, and this is the video series. Today we're going to be talking about prostate massage for old men. Is it any different for old men than younger men? Not really. There's just a couple precautions you have to take. The first thing is, whenever you're doing, starting prostate massage, you've never done it before, and you want to try it out now, get an exam from your urologist. He'll take a look in there, because you're going to be massaging if you've never done this. You're going through your rectum. And the reason is, this is a cross-section of the body, okay, or a cutaway of the body. This is your butt, your thigh, your tummy. We all know what that is. This is your bladder, where it sits in your body. Right below it is your prostate gland. And to reach it most effectively, you come in through the anus, and you touch it. And the reason you do it this way is there's only that one small bit of tissue between the rectum and the prostate that lays right next to it. And that's how you get the most effective massage. When we're trying to massage up through the tummy, which is the external massage, it works, but it's not as effective because you have this big layer of muscle and fat on top of there, and it's harder to get directly to it. When you're, um, when you're massaging through the rectum, prostate's about the size of a walnut. This is a healthy prostate size. It can get bigger if you have an enlarged prostate. It could be the size of an apple or an orange. It can get pretty large. Uh, but normally this is it. So it sits in your body, and you're going to be massaging it. Okay? And when you're going through the rectum, you only have this much space between your finger or your object or your massaging device and your prostate. That's why you get such an effective massage this way. Okay? Now, so the first thing you're going to do is you're going to get that exam from your urologist. He's just going to take a look in there. He's going to make sure you don't have any reason why you can't do the massage. This would be things like polyps, bleeding hemorrhoids. You might have a condition there similar, say, to colitis, uh, Crohn's disease, any of these things where the inside membrane is really having trouble. You don't want to be doing an internal massage then. For you, we have the external massages. If you go to the website, you'll see it right down there. I love doing that. I'm actually pointing to my thigh, but in the video, it looks like I'm pointing to the link. I give you a link to the main site, I'll give you a link to uh, the external massage, and I'll give you a link to the, so you can get the proper massager. This is the Aeros Helix uh, silicone model. In the 17 years I've been teaching prostate massage, this is the best instrument I've ever seen for massaging the prostate. Normally it's advertised as a sex toy because if you just rub on the prostate while you're having sex, which this will do, it increases your orgasm, makes it much stronger. But the reason to use this is we're not using it as a sex toy at all, is that when this is inserted, your bladder again, your prostate, it lines up perfectly with your prostate, just right. So when you do your massage, you're going to push down a little, stroke, release. Go in, push down a little, stroke, release. That's the way you do a prostate massage. It's that simple. Now, prostate massage has been done for hundreds, at least a hundred years popularly. They used to use cigar tubes, a metal cigar tube will work. Um, I like a drumstick. I have one over here. This is a wooden drumstick, musician's drumstick. And the way they're made is they're hard wood, finely sanded, varnished, rounded tip. It's a very nice blunt instrument, so you can go in there and work your way in. The thing is, you can go in too far, you can go not far enough, you can poke off to the side too easily with these. Unless you're very advanced, I wouldn't suggest using this. I do suggest using this for everybody, simply because it's the perfect instrument for therapeutic prostate massage. Um, they're only about $70. You know, oh, I don't know if I want to spend $70. Sure you do. Um, it's going to last you a lifetime. It's a great instrument. You're going to be amazed at the results you get with it. So try one out, if that's where you're going to go. And um, here's the thing now for your prostate massage. 
before I go further, let's demonstrate doing it, okay? Let's take the aneros, let's take our prostate, put it right there. We've come in, rectum, it's sitting right on there. And like I said, it's going to be right next to there. You're going to give it just a little tilt like this, a little pressure. You're going to start at the top, come down, release, go back in. Start at the top, come down, release, go back in. Start at the top, push down against it, release. Then you're going to go off to the side, okay? When you put it in, just bring it over to the side a little. Same thing. Pull down, release. Go back in, push down, release. Go back in, push down, release. Three times. Now go to the other side. Same thing. Push down, release. Push down, release. Push down, release. Then once more back in the middle. Push down, release. Push down, release. Push down, release. You're done. Pull the thing out. Rinse it off under water. You're done. It takes only two to three minutes. There's no excuse for not doing these things if you feel that it's something you need. Because it's not like an exercise program where you have to go in for 30 to 60 minutes three times a week build up a sweat. It's not like getting a body massage for an hour. It's a prostate massage. It takes two to three minutes. You just saw me do the whole thing. So, you can get your exam. You should get a narrow, so you really should. Um, you're going to get the best massage with it. If you want to use something else, just don't use anything made out of glass. If it breaks in there, you will get a serious injury. You could get deep infection, you could get sepsis and possibly die. So, wood or metal only, okay? You got your exam, you got your instrument, now you have to do it, okay? I say do it every day, you can take Sundays off or one day a week, whatever you like. It only takes, you're not going to be doing this forever, every single day of your life. I started doing it because I had severe prostatitis that nothing would fix. After I started doing my prostate massage, I'm 71 now. I started doing them when I was 33. We have men doing them that are in their mid and late 80s, okay? Um, but if you can't, if your urologist said don't go in there and do them, then you're going to learn the external massage. I'm going to give you the link for that also right below here, okay? So, one more time. Get the exam. Make sure it's okay. Get a proper massaging tool, okay? Do the massage every night. Do it before you go to bed. Do it first thing in the morning. You do it at your lunch break. Whenever you choose. That's all there is to it. It's that simple. Be well. Okay, now I've gotten a number of... Well, let me do it again. Okay, now I've gotten a number of emails asking why prostate massage for older men is different than prostate massage for a young man or a middle-aged man. And the reason is, when we get old, very old, I'm 71, I don't feel old, but as we get older, you'll notice if you're very old, like let's say 80, more than 80, your skin gets very thin, you bruise extremely easily, it takes almost nothing to tear your skin and bleed. The internal massage might not be for you. It's the best massage there is. It's the most effective prostate massage there is. But not everyone can use it, okay? I would say over 99.5% of men use it, no problem. But as we get very old, we become more, we become more delicate. So when you get your exam, you're going to talk to your urologist, tell them what you're thinking of doing. So when you get the okay, then you go ahead and it's like a normal massage for anybody. The key point is to be gentle when you do it. Don't go banging in there, poking. Don't push down hard. It's a very gentle stroke, okay? And if you have the, the kind of skin where you're breaking easily, bruising easily, and you're your urologist said, I don't think you should be doing the internal massage. Don't do it. We have the external massage. It's down here. I've got a link for you. It goes right to the page on the site. 
explains it in detail. It's a very good massage. Easy to do. You don't need any kind of instrument. You're going to be rubbing from the outside. Um, there's a number of steps to it. All the instructions are there. The instructions are absolutely free. Like everything on the site, there is, there's no charge for any instruction. So if you can't do the internal massage, do the external massage.